Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. Hi guys, how are you? So, I'm going to be recording for the elements. The first one I'm doing is water. So if you are Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or if you're, you know, asking questions in regards to that type of situation, like a love situation with somebody that has that in any of the places for their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you can tune into this and possibly resonate with the messages. I did a poll in my Twin Flame support group on Facebook and asked which title people most wanted to see next. The majority of the votes were, were for the title, What Spirit Really Wants You to Know Right Now. So that's what I'm kind of tuning in to find out tonight. And I have two new decks that were sent to me. I don't know who they're from, but I just wanted to say thank you really quickly. Um, if case you're somebody with a water element, it's the Shaman Tarot and the Tantric Dakani Dek Oracle. Um, I haven't really used either one before, so I may have to check the book a little bit, but I probably will also use other, other decks as well. But basically, we're going to be seeing, you know, what spirit really wants the water signs to know at this point. As we're going through the energies of the eclipse, as we're going through um, the new moon energies, we're heading, heading into the new year. You know, there's a lot of stuff that is shifting right now. So I know a lot of people are going through a lot of different things. And I'm sure every element, some stuff could be a little bit more potent than others. But basically what you've got here, we have the two of drums, which would be the two of pentacles. I believe this is the devil and then the five of bows which would be the five of swords so let me just double check on that because they do call it something else yeah i'm pretty sure it's the devil uh, because it's punishment external law above human law new karmic balance harmonization or perfectionism um just want to make sure yeah so i think this is kind of like what this is saying is that you may be trying to make decisions at this point. So the two of drums is about, is two of pentacles essentially. It's when people are juggling around things and that could be causing conflict. So this could be you or who you're dealing with. But right now I feel like there is this time of weighing out our options and trying to decide what's going to help us to grow. And some of that could be in regards to karmic stuff. So if you've been in a relationship or been stuck in any type of thing that has not been in alignment with who you truly are, like, I feel like we're going to be kind of getting pushed at this point to come out of this, you know, out of this place of conflict, out of this place of feeling defeated and making the decisions that essentially are going to assist you to grow. On the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Drums, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever these decisions you're making that are assisting you to grow are helping you to come to this time of the Ten of Pentacles, which is the ultimate fulfillment. This is, you know, the, the lifestyle that everybody dreams of. And I see these butterflies around her. It kind of represents to me a major transformation. So if you've been living in a place that's out of alignment, without your integrity, without what you truly want, you know, you may be making decisions based off of outside stuff, you know, your friends, your family, um, what you think society would think or what, you know, other people might say. If you've been allowing yourself to stay stuck in any way, whether it's self-created or influenced by people outside of you that's kind of left you feeling defeated, I think people are now making a decision to grow. They're making the decision to say, I, I can't do this anymore. If it doesn't feel right to me, I can't continue doing this. It's time for me to get out of this place where essentially I'm defeating myself. You know, I feel like the Five of Swords kind of is like that. It's like there is no real winner when that Five of Swords energy comes about. Even if you're fighting with somebody, it's like you both end up kind of losing the battle. And it's because it's out of alignment with the truth. And it's, it's coming from a place of illusion. It's coming from this energy of the devil. And... Now it's talking about coming into karmic balance, you know, external law above human law, new karmic balance, harmonizing. So spirit is likely pushing you or whoever you're dealing with at this time to start making those decisions. They're going to break you out of that energy so that you can transform into this place of ultimate fulfillment. All right. So anything that, you know, and this could be in your work, this could be in your family dynamics, anything that you've just been like, mm, you know, it's it's not who you really are has to go. Um, 
we also have 64, The Last Laugh in the Future. So again, this deck is completely different, but it does have uh, um, pretty, does have like little ones really quickly that tell you what it means. So which one is this? 64. 64 is the last card within the deck says the potent power of the future, the exalted cycle of transformation, freedom from karma through humor, advantage gained. All right. So if you've been like dealing with somebody karmic or toxic that has basically been like that, that place that makes you feel defeated. Usually when you see the five of swords, it's like they're on the battlefield, right? Somebody has kind of walked away from the battle, but I feel like, like I said, there's really no real winner in that energy, but whomever you've been dealing with where it's been very toxic, very karmic, this could be friends, this could be a job, there's just something that's been like nasty looming over, this is kind of that energy of you're going towards the future and that's going to be the last laugh, you know, like people may have kind of tried to hold you back, there could have been some jealousy, some resentment, There just something, you know, it could have even been created by self, but... You're getting the last laugh in this by going towards your ultimate fulfillment and changing and transforming whatever it's been that has really kept you stuck up into this point. You're no longer allowing it to keep you in this place of, you know, punishment for self. And that's usually the punishment of self is the things that we're thinking and deciding and we allow to continue in our world or allow somebody to manipulate us. So if you've been in a karmic, like, narcissistic relationship with anybody or dealing with something that has just been very draining to you um it always feels like you're kind of fighting you're getting the last laugh here major transformation and I feel like it's not going to happen overnight obviously I think this is going to be something that goes through 2020 and be mindful that this could be whoever you're asking about is going through this okay they could be dealing with a relationship that's been very traumatic it could be mom it could be um like a wife, it could be, again, with their career, could be even something with alcohol or drugs, whatever has really, like, held that energy of, like, defeat over somebody, you're getting the last laugh, or they're getting the last laugh, and heading towards a beautiful, bright future of ultimate fulfillment, okay, so, very clear message coming through with that, let me see what else spirit wants you to really know at this time, and for some of you, it, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be, be karmic. It could be something um, that has just been hurtful for you, okay? Like, maybe it's somebody that you really love that you have a deep connection with, but, like, you guys just have been kind of battling with each other. I feel like the last laugh within that is more so that you're going to end up getting, you know, that transformation within whatever has been difficult to get to this place of, of beautiful. The next one is the Six of Bows, which is the Six of Swords. So kind of the same message coming through here. I am seeing the star energy um, within this, this deck. This is the star. Basically, you're coming out of a time where your mind or your, your feelings have been imbalanced. This could have, again, been, been kind of similar to that, that energy of the Five of Swords where it's like fighting and conflict and defeat. Whatever that stuff was, you're moving away from it. You're going into a more calm place. And you're having your wishes come true. Now, I'm also picking up for a lot of people, you're not only like dealing with this in regards to the, the toxic stuff, you're dealing with this in regards to like your overall mission and purpose here, rising up, you know, like you're going to be called to, to make decisions that essentially assist you in growing and changing and transforming. You can't stay stuck anymore. You can't deny what you feel anymore. You can't keep yourself held back from what your wish ultimately is. And for some of you, it could be connected to like starseed energy where you're starting to align with your mission, your purpose here. Um, others, it could just be like you're finding your purpose. You're finding your passion in life. You're going to get to this, which is not just having a person in a home. This is having stability. This is having everything that you've ever dreamed of. This is you embodying that dream career, you embodying that beautiful home that you've always, you know, maybe placed outside of you. This is you rising up that pedestal into the star energy, okay? So people are going to be noticing you, acknowledging you, and you're going to be acknowledging you in a way that you may have not been doing up to this point. Also, I feel there's going to be major changes in people's direction. 
So again, it's like you may have felt stuck or you may have felt like you weren't good enough or you could have just been missing something, missing the big picture, not seeing what was right in front of your face for you, for an opportunity. That was your truth that you were always ultimately supposed to be rising up into. And now you're getting the last laugh by realizing and recognizing what that has been. And I feel like some people were derailed off the path. You know, it was like this stuff took us off the path and it put us into conflict and it made us forget, you know, some of the basic things that you may have once been aligned with or kind of knew, but allowed things to, to steer you away or to make, you know, whatever you went through, like the, the four of cups to me, it's like there was those three cups, there was those three distractions, there was those three things going on outside of what that, that ace of cups was in front of you. So whatever your dream has been, whatever distraction, whatever illusion, or whatever pain and experiences that have kept, continued to keep you away from that fresh start, it's not happening anymore. And it's because you're figuring it out and seeing what you need to see and being driven to a place that is going to bring you to alignment with this, okay? So very clear message. Again, people are rising into their to their ultimate, you know, alignment and truth with who they're supposed to be during this mission and during this lifetime. And I don't think it's just one area of life. I think it's going to be impacting all areas. <coughs> you may <clears throat> not have really come into this ener energy yet. I feel like for some people, you already know what I'm talking about. Like if you're in it, you know it. If not, it's like you're probably going to be starting to get that little inkling or that little push. And it's going to build and it's going to build and it's going to build until you can't deny it anymore. And then you you shift over and it's like, oh, boom, now I can see, here I go. But I know for some of you, it may take a little bit longer than other people, just dependent upon where you are right now, okay? And I, that's just how energy is. Sometimes we're already in it, sometimes we've already passed it, and sometimes it takes a while for us to get there. But ultimately, you're headed towards a good place. We also have number 49 cutting through here. So I'm just going to see what they say this is. Um, the resolution of the path of self, decisive action in all areas, practic practicality, real action to do with destiny and change. How perfect is that? And the element, you know, that's connected to it is water. So this is basically bringing in everything that I was just saying about where you're headed and I said I, I don't think it's just love I don't think it's just one thing this is everything that that you've been experiencing everything that you've been feeling separated from everything you've been doubting or being kind of like pushed towards don't resist it because the more you resist the more things persist just know that when you embody like who you really are and what you really want for yourself and you don't allow the like doubts and the fears to block you you're going to go into a great place and you're going to have everything that you've, you know, envisioned or wanted for yourself, probably even more so. I feel like this is this is bigger than what you've ever even dreamed. You know, this is true alignment, true, true beauty. And for some of you stepping out of a box that you may have created for yourself and basically remembering like what you were here for, because a lot of times people get out of alignment with that and they get caught up in stuff that's not really serving them. You know, they get caught up in the illusions, they're caught up in the karma, they get caught in bullshit with people and jobs and how they express themselves, what they're doing. They let money kind of control stuff. They let the opinions of others manipulate their truth. This is you starting to remember that that stuff doesn't matter. And the more that you do that, the more you're going to be rewarded. So if you've been nervous, because I feel like that this could be something too, where you may have been nervous to make a shift within something, thinking like, how am I going to be fully supported there? If you don't and you're being pushed that way, it's almost like spirit's going to gonna force you to it anyways. Like I've been having that happen with stuff where I've kind of resisted things that I know I should be doing in regards to my work. And so because I've done that, I've been staying doing other things, spirit's basically like, no, like this isn't going to work anymore. And I'm seeing it more and more and more every month as I um, continue to do things that aren't in alignment with what I want to be doing. So just know that it's, and I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying like, they're going to show you, they're going to prove it to you that when you do something from, from your heart, you're going to be provided for and taken care of. Okay, and again, this could all be a message for the other person, but I really feel like it's more of a collective message right now. 
yeah, we get the world coming through. So it's like this is the big close of a chapter. 2020 is closing a 10-year cycle. This is like us allowing for this transformation to happen, to go into the next, you know, area of our lives and get rid of whatever has been holding us back. And the serpent eating its own tail is like the Ouroboros. That's the recreation that's constantly happening. I feel like people are going to be awakening to a lot of things too. So if you're somebody that's like spiritually connected, you have gifts, they're going to be amplified. Um, if there's been, you know, like back in 2012, there was a lot of people who started waking up like right around that time. There's going to be like another influx of that happening. But for those of you who have already been awake or who are already on like a spiritual path, it's going to be accelerated and it's going to be to the point where you can't deny it anymore. Any of the ego bullshit, any of the games that you could either be kind of keeping yourself within or other people around you have been kind of keeping you within, it, it can't stand anymore. It's like you're, you're not going to be able to stomach it. Your vibration, your energy is going to really need a shift and it's like whatever you've been doing with your body with your mind with your spirit it's time to embrace this new beginning so let's see what else you need to know from spirit what they want you to know right now what does spirit really want you to know in regards to the energies we are in all right so I think that's the queen of pentacles so this again this is like you coming into this energy of the queen of pentacles or somebody that you're dealing with coming into this but we also have the three of pentacles the king of pentacles and the eight of pentacles so for those of you who've been dealing with like a, a dynamic with a person some of you could be an earth sign or you could have earth in your chart um, she's Capricorn and I think he's Capricorn or Taurus, but basically what this is about is working together to build something sacred and solid. And that's basically what I've been talking about here. And eight of pentacles is also like, you may have started building something in the past, but you could have let things take you off the path. You could have been derailed by karma, by toxicity, by drugs, alcohol, karmic people, karmic thoughts, karmic, you know, stuff between the two of you, uh, running and chasing, all of those things that kept, you know, making people defeat themselves over and over and over, that stuff's coming to a close so that people can work together to build something sacred. And who better to have the Ten of Pentacles, that ultimate fulfillment, than the King and Queen of Pentacles, you know? And I feel like this is saying, like, Divine Feminine, you're figuring out your value and worth, you're really embodying this, you may start working as like an entrepreneur or, you know, starting a business in some way or just really stepping up in the business or the work that you do in regards to spirit and in regards to the physical because this is somebody that's very solid and stable. So like I was just saying, if you've been fearful about making changes because you thought like the universe wasn't going to support you, you weren't going to have enough, this is kind of giving you the confirmation that you're going to be fine whether you're on your own or not. But when you're in this vibration, you're going to attract into you somebody to work together beside you so that you can have that type of vibration that emits and connects and establishes and builds a Ten of Pentacles type of connection. And this is, for a lot of you, something you started building within the past, and you're going to continue to move through the next chapter, putting those final placements on your on your building, basically. Like, traditionally, you'll see, you know, all of, like, the eight that are still being built on, still being worked on. That's, like, what this is saying. In 2020, you're coming together to work on what has already been you know, laid down a little bit. There's a foundation that's laid down and some people may have kind of left it behind or, you know, just went off the path for a little bit. Now you're making the big decisions to come back and work on building this to get to that ultimate fulfillment. And for many of you, it will either be somebody from your past that's coming back to work on this with you or somebody that's going to see this and match you on that same vibration. Somebody that's going to be your ultimate match, okay? This is two of a kind. This is a soulmate, twin flame, however you want to label it type of thing. This is who embodies the same vibration as you, the same value as you, the same vision as you, wants the same things in life to work together beside you to get to that ultimate fulfillment. So it is a very beautiful, you know, energy that you guys have coming through. Um, I do feel like you could have some anxiety at this point, but it's time to let that stuff go. The anxiety is what's creating the conflict, 
you know, these fears and these like sleepless nights and the worry and the inability to just make a decision that that supports you and your authentic vision and purpose and goal is what keeps people in that place of like, you know, going back and around and around and around. We need to allow ourselves to shed the past so that we can start to build something new and go into a better place within our mind and cut through the bullshit so you can have the last laugh. So for some of you, what I'm picking up that, like, this is the last laugh against, like, a karmic person, okay? Like, this could be you laughing at, like, somebody's karmic wife. And, and it's not, like, it's not a great thing to say or whatever, but it is, it's kind of like that energy of you're getting the last laugh here. You're going to show the people who, like, denied you or put you down or didn't think that you could stand up or be anything. You're getting the last laugh. So this could be friends, family, um whoever you're dealing with karmic partner this could be a karmic partner in your life but basically that's the energy i feel here there could be some painful endings that have to come about in order to achieve this but i feel like you're making that choice okay you've been standing on that that sideline trying to wait for your ships to come in and now it's time for you to make the decision you know what are you going to do and the jaguar is connected to our relationships the jaguar comes in and like just swoops away like just one swipe of its claws is going to clear out all of that debris and all the crap connected, all the cords and the energies that have kept you down in this place of defeat and ugh. When they come in and swoop it away, you're free. And then you don't have to stand there waiting anymore. It's time for you to dive into the deep end, okay? It's time for you to go deeper into your, your learning and your healing and breaking out of that toxic crap that, that you've been dealing with. I feel like that's the justice card, honestly. The one that I was getting this energy off of. It's like you're going towards justice, so you're you're leaving behind whatever's been toxic and karmic, okay? But it does still have a lot of that energy of the devil, and that's what I'm basically picking up here. And that's what justice is, is, is overcoming that crap, going deeper into the energy, cutting through the bullshit, you know, calling on that spirit of the jaguar to free you from that so you can get back and remember what you were meant to be doing all this time while you've been here and essentially have the last laugh within it all. And for some of you, that's going to be coming together with a particular person that you already know or possibly bringing in a person that you didn't even, like, acknowledge or were unable to see with that Four of Cups type of energy. Some of you, I feel like there's been something right in front of your face that you've been missing because you've been all caught up in the karma. And um, for everybody, it's going to be different. But take it as it resonates. Definitely going into a better place. So what I'm going to do is go over to Vimeo and see what else Spirit really wants you to know right now about 2020 and all of these shifts and everything. And if you'd like to join me, I'm also going to do a couple of the uh, messages from my other deck that tells you um, what somebody might have to say to you. So if you want to join me, that link will be down below. If not, thank you for joining me this far. In Renee, namaste.